Inside Sales is a real life unicorn. One and a half billion dollar valuation. Or stallion. Yeah, you don't like being I called I don't like a unicorn, the unicorn moniker. You prefer being called a stallion. Uni um, unicorns die easily. <laughs> um, but, but, but why are you guys here today? You just presented on stage and yeah. you, you unveiled some new predictive technology. Yeah, so the event's amazing, right? It's, be it's become something, honestly, larger than just uh, a Salesforce event. It's become an industry event. There's over 170,000 people here. Um, and for us, this is a great venue to be able to connect with our customers and share new products. So our newest product, uh, is our predictive cloud. Uh, and, and our core technology is a, is a tool that helps, uses predictive analytics and AI um, to uh, automate the sales process to do smarter, sell better, sell faster. Um, what we did is we put an API on top of our, our learning engine, Neuralytics, um, and we allowed other companies now to then go build predictive systems, um, really very diverse, like we have a company called Event Board. They're a, um, a meeting room management platform. We're allowing them to do smart meetings, which means uh, people can now, we can predictively tell them what time of day, what day of week, who should be in attending the meeting, um, which even what room in the building they should be in. Uh, we have another example that's um, kind of out of there, but uh, a company called uh, Cloud Craze. Mm -hmm. They're a B2B enterprise shopping system, and they're, we're providing really all of the, um, the advantage of the predictive capabilities Amazon has uh, to almost anybody. So it's really the commoditization of predictive analytics. Now, we're seeing sort of major tectonic shifts happening oh, yeah. in the enterprise software world. Oracle reported yesterday yeah. they're not moving to the cloud as quickly as uh, some would have hoped. Where do you see this? Where do you see this going? Where do you see, you know, the hierarchy of enterprise software companies? So it, it's interesting. Um, I, I've been speaking with a bunch of the, the legacy folks who are, in fact, I won't say who they are, but a very large. But please do. But a large company that is just uh, splitting into two. I won't say who it is. And they were really excited that they're getting some of their applications into the cloud. And I'm like, really? Like, like you're excited that you're finally getting your applications into the clouds. Same thing with Oracle. Why is it taking Oracle so long? Like they're, they're so far in the rear view mirror. So what I think is happening is, um, I think there's a new uh, emergence of, of, we'll call them unicorns for your sake, um, that are really supplanting those old school companies. So the reason why we're seeing such huge valuations in these smaller companies like mine um, are because we're building new value for customers that the old legacy companies can't do anymore. And so it's not that we're actually creating a net new value, though some of that's happening. More than anything, we're seeing the value shift from these legacy companies and moving into these newer, smaller companies. But how many of these unicorns are going to make it? I, I, you know, we've, we've talked before, not all of them, right? And, and I kind of think that's a great thing. Like, it sounds terrible, but I think I mentioned before, uh, you, can't, you can't grow a forest without a forest fire. I think some of them will emerge, and the ones that will emerge are going to be the, the large enterprise companies, or the, the, the companies that are enterprise, they've got long customer contracts, they provide real customer value. The companies that honestly are, are valued based off of user count or based off of uh, click traffic, I, I just don't think that, that, that they're going to last.